Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Wawa Classic Wrath Pre-Patch and our Human Paladin. We are going to be heading north today, probably into the Alterac Mountains. I picked up the Crush Ridge Bounty that we're now at level to do. Uh, we have some humans we have to hunt down. We need Noble Signet Rings. Argus Shadow Mages? I don't know why this one is so high level, but it is. Uh, and then, yeah, we have lions we have to get down here. Let's just head out and get to it, shall we? The cities are basically unlivable at this point. I'd put myself on a flight to Stormwind yesterday thinking that I would land and that my guy would log out after a while. I didn't really think about it, didn't come back to my computer. And when I did come back, I was a ghost uh, because the zombies had killed me and everyone else. And then when I retrieved my body just now, the whole landing deck of Stormwind was full of zombies and I was barely able to hurt the way before getting infected myself. So yeah, it's uh, it's been quite something. I don't know if pairing the zombie event with a big fresh start experience and trying to pull people back in to level up in time for Wrath and having the zombie event play out like it does, I don't think that's like really a good combination in my opinion. People who start off, you start leveling before the zombie event happens, you're having a good time, making progress, and then you start just getting crushed by all the zombies, uh, the quest givers maybe are dead, the cities are unusable. And that can kind of stall somebody out. You create a point of friction from which a player could decide that they don't want to engage with this anymore. So maybe not the best planning. I feel like they should have tweaked the zombie event. You know how we have war mode in retail where you can toggle war mode on and off? There should be a toggle for world events like that. And if you are not toggled in, you simply are not affected by the world event or you're in a different phase. There's probably a lot of technical solutions they could come up with so that people who don't want to engage with that don't have to. Because yeah, in my opinion, a fresh start when there's a bunch of people trying to get into the game is not a good time for an event like that. Not an event that was like clearly designed by maybe Masochist back like 10 years ago. <laughs> people who delighted in punishment of others and self-punishment as well a as a way to like experience the game. It opens up a lot of doors for like trolls and griefers to do their craft. While not really, it doesn't add enough context and story. It doesn't add story to the world. It adds flavor to the world. In my opinion, the flavor isn't enough or good enough to counterbalance the negative points of it. The negative points for me is like I didn't get any rested experience like I thought I was going to. <laughs> thought I was parked in a city and that even if I got auto logged out, I'd be sitting there collecting rested XP. Instead, I was a ghost. You don't collect rested experience as a ghost. So there's that. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that if you are playing in the fresh start that you found a way to cope with the zombies. Uh, not using the cities seems to be a good idea. Maybe using the less populated cities like Darnassus, Ironforge possibly. Could be a way around it. Forgetting to use my taunt today. And forgetting that we can go ahead and equip our two-hander as well. Surprisingly, I have buffs up, though. Just forgot everything else. I forgot the vendor as well, so that's a good look. All the typical things that I do consistently... And by do consistently, I mean forget to do consistently. What's our bag space really look like? It looks like absolute trash. Uh, well, maybe, maybe we just get our last mountain lion here and then turn this one in before we do anything else. Kind of a false start to this one. Sorry about that. I've been really trying to dig into some of the numbers and figure out if we're going to be able to get this Paladin to 68 or 70 by the time Wrath goes live. Every time I look at the calendar, I, I see like so much time between now and then. And, and I look at our level and I think, yeah, like that's possible, right? I mean, we're level 34. We need 34 more levels to be level 68. 
That's like the bare minimum we can walk into Northrun with that. If we want to do that. I'd like to have the option. I think I'm going to take the mage in first. But I've been playing this character a bit now. Really enjoying it. And I want to have the option to take this character into Northrun if I want to. So I'm going to push as much as I can push. Which is to say that I'm going to keep playing basically the same amount of time that I've been playing the character up until this point. The only other thing we really have going on is just getting the mage their last level and a half, basically. So... It's not like I have a lot of other things that I need to take care of or want to be doing at the moment. Uh, there's Yeti for somewhere. Uh, are we going to survive that jump? I really doubt it. I just don't see us surviving anything like that. Maybe we could like slide. Maybe we could just bubble. Oh, we didn't. We didn't bubble. We didn't bubble. We clicked the wrong button and we laid on hands. Absolutely useless. And now we know that fall won't kill us. Uh, should we get... Should we try to get our Yeti furs? Do we have enough inventory space to do that also? Yeah, I need other stuff for this too. I'm not as excited to do this one right now because I have to buy a Hillman's cloak off the auction house. And I don't have skinning. When you have skinning, you have a chance to get the fur from skinning these guys. It's really helpful for Yeti quests. Any Yeti quest, you can get the skins by looting them or by skinning them. And you basically get the quest done twice as fast by having skinning, which we don't on this character, so... The fine thread we can just buy. The bolt of woolen cloth we're gonna have to get on the auction house. And the, and the hillman's cloak. And uh, using the auction houses right now is a little bit hit or miss. I'll probably try the one in Iron Forge before I ever go back to Stormwind. Don't think we'll be seeing a lot of Stormwind until this whole zombie thing dies down. So, yeah. Uh, let's go to the repair shop here and that way we do have the chance to repair our gear. Greetings. Let's get rid of the old water. We can buy some new water if we need to. Um, coarse stones. Wasn't I using... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get many more skill points off of these, but... Might as well go ahead and do this just to get them out of our inventory. Then we can sell the product. And yeah, that's that's about all we can do. We can smelt some sir some silver. Smelt the server. That's what Blizzard does every Tuesday. They just smelt the server. Uh, I was in the queue for SM Library. See you around. Oh, I mean armory. I was in the queue for armory. And that's really all I'm interested in doing, so... What are you looking for? Uh, I think that's really all we can do for our inventory right now. Let's get these out to our bar, they could save our life. Uh, and that's it, let's get some more water since we're in town. And then we'll probably be getting summons pretty soon. We've got a couple of people right around the instance. Yeah, I really don't mind just doing a bunch of dungeons right now. Um, could Good screw up our questing a little bit, I guess. Because realistically, there's a couple of things I... 
I, I meant to go from Stormwind and get the flight point for Darkshire and get the flight point for Stranglethorn. We probably... We have to get into Stranglethorn pretty soon if we want to be doing that. But for now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. This is what we're doing. Make sure everyone is good to go before we run away from the stone here. Yeah, I don't really want to miss out on Stranglethorn, so we're probably going to go there before we do much more in Hillsbred, now that I'm like really looking at things. Maybe we'll finish up the Mountain Lions. And then, if we're going to do more questing at this level range, we're going to probably do it over in, uh... This goes to Iron Forge. I really have to get that turned in. Uh, we'll do the- we'll do questing over in Stranglethorn. I really want to get into Stranglethorn. It's one of my favorite zones. We're going to be able to do a bunch of kill quests there. It's going to be a good time. Uh, and I want to get started on that. After Stranglethorn, I really don't know. I am willing to take suggestions on where we could go, what we could see, post post strangle thorn. We'll be jumping back into like Hillsbred and Alterac Mountains for a while to do some of these higher level ones. Uh, we could do these into like the level 40s, that's the great thing about them. Uh, did I just go into the wrong place or are we... what are we doing here? <laughs> I guess, like, maybe I picked the wrong... Yeah, I must have went into the cathedral door. Thought it was a different key. Uh, let's do... Let's just do kings on everybody. I could do wisdom on who I think must be the healer. Let's just do wisdom. We have a lot of casters. We'll do wisdom. We'll do kings... I'm hoping uh, that we'll get some gear out of here. I don't know if we'll be able to equip it at level 34. I actually don't really know what level these guys are going to be. 35? Oh, well, snap. They like us. Let's get Righteous Fury up. And let's just hope that we hit enough to maintain aggro. We are still waiting on our second mage. I, I don't know where they're at, but they're not here yet. I'm gonna go ahead and like pull slowly for the time being. I don't believe that was line of sight. I'm gonna call shenanigans on that one. So, yeah, there's that. Good luck getting me out here. Good luck getting me in here. I love playing with these casters. I'm just making it so they can basically never hit us. It's kind of fun. It probably like aggravates the DPS who are trying to DPS them. But it's fun for me, and it eliminates some of the incoming damage, so... I feel like a deliberate approach is going to be good here. We have level 35, 35 mage, 33 rogue, 33 mage. Yeah, we're not going to be doing enormous pulls with this group. 
That just is not going to happen. Let's pull these guys back. We could probably do a little bit more. We'll come around this side. Yep, we'll just body pull it. <laughs> That's cool. I'd love to see a counter spell go off. May just get counter spell at level 20. Love to see a counter spell. There's somebody somebody interrupted. Somebody finally got to interrupt off. I am going to go ahead and get my mana back here. I think the rest of the room we cleared just this last pull. I don't know if I could line of sight them into this corridor or not, but we're going to try it. Probably do Judgment of Wisdom. Might be more helpful. Let's just come down here and fight these guys, and then we'll clear the other way. I'm not feeling super, like, into the big pulls with this group, and with myself mainly, because we're, we're a low level for- if we were level 36, we could pull more. But I, I am gonna be overly cautious here. I'm going to be overly cautious, but I'm going to be mana conservative so that we can keep the pace going. Nobody needs a slow run. But what they might need is a smooth run that they survive. That would probably be best for everybody. We'll grab this. This will be a pretty decently sized pull. I'm 
these guys disarm, but again, it's really awesome being a paladin tank because disarm does not hinder you nearly as much as it does on a warrior. The disarms on a warrior are just devastating, especially if they happen near the beginning of the pull. For a paladin, at the beginning of the pull, you're going to judge and throw it on a consecrate, so you've got snap aggro pretty much right away. And unless you've got like an overleveled DPS in your group, you're going to hold that aggro most of the time. Kind of set up so that the biggest pulls we can do are probably like four pulls. Here we go. I'm going to use some divine protection here. That actually was really smooth, and the, the healer still has mana. This guy snuck in there, though. Healer still has mana. I don't know what it is, but I really like how the human female holds her shield. I like how it's like angled up, it's like it looks very braced and protected of the vital organs. Close to the body, like not really far out. I don't know if it's realistic or not, but I'm sold on it, it looks cool. I don't think the rogue is hitting a lot of the time. He's a little bit of a low level to be in here. I don't think he could be hitting consistently. Especially not looking at his numbers. Which happens, he might ding sometime in here. Maybe he'll be able to hit the last boss a little bit more. Hell, we might have trouble hitting the last boss. I don't, if he's level 38, it could be interesting. Uh, we should probably get kings back up on everybody here, or wisdom, whatever we need. Let's do kings on ourself.
And we'll drink, and that'll give everyone else a moment to drink and rebuff. That seems good. Let's keep going. Oh, we're starting to get Mage Weave Cloth. That's awesome. Uh, what's going on in here? Should we just run out? I guess we can. We could uh, pull some more guys here just for fun. Sure, let's get some mana back. Healer needs some mana. That's a good time for us to get mana back as well. And yeah, here we go. I always forget that Armory is a short run. It's one boss. And that's it. It's quite a bit of kill experience for as short as this. If we can pull a little bit quicker, we, it can be more useful to us. Everyone's basically mad at up. I just want them to come in the door. I don't think the door closes, but it might. Ah, I've been waiting for I'm gonna take it by the stairs so I can just go up the stairs. He's level 37. We're gonna hit him enough. It is gonna be hard for the rogue to hit him. He's immune, maybe, to everything while doing that. Hit him with an exorcism, maybe. Yeah, he's just immune to stuff. Light, give me strength. And there we go, there's a male helmet. We are the only person that can need, that can use it. And we want it, so that's fun. This is gonna be a fun dungeon for us, especially if we do it without a bunch of other uh, plate wearers. 
because it typically means we're going to get some kind of loot. I feel like these short these short ones, once you get a group out here together, it's worth it to run them at least twice. It's so fast, and there's only the one boss. It, it feels like just to, to justify the time and effort spent putting the group together, we, we just ought to do at least two runs. That was a weird staircase, taken at a weird camera angle that produced a really weird visual effect. Kind of nauseating. Got it cleared before anything respawned, that's nice. What level was that gear? It was like level 37. <laughs> Jeez, 37. Yeah, we're not going to be wearing that for a while. Uh, we need to... We need to get ourselves into Stranglethorn and just start pounding out some questing levels. Like, really, really quickly. I'm not lead, so I can't reset. Whoops. You want, you want wisdom. <laughs> Uh, we want to have a seal up, that would be good. We are good on water, we're not really using any at the moment. Yeah, the place isn't really designed for, like, enormous pulls. I, I feel like if I did enormous pulls, it might get out of hand. That being said, we, we could pull a little bit more. Let's fight these guys right here. They thought I was pulling back, yeah. Sorry guys, yeah, I pulled back last time. There's not a great reason to pull back here. Even if runners pull extras, it's it's not like we can't handle them. If this were vanilla, then yeah, you probably would've wanted to pull back. But uh, let's grab this guy. Let's come down here and grab these two.
We can go ahead and drink. That'll make them feel less pressured with their mana. I really don't like pressuring casters, man. I've been doing some runs on our, our higher level mage with Death Knight tanks, and people no longer give a shit about caster mana. It does not matter to them. Especially DK tanks who can deal so much damage on their own. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. And it, it occurs to me that the, the Death Knight class was probably the start of the go, 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 go mentality in World of Warcraft. Uh, where people just feel like, you know, the only way to do it is to go as quick as they can. And if you're not going as quick as you can, then you're failing in some way. And I really despise that mentality in the game. I really do. I would rather pull challenging enemies more slowly than pull a bunch of trash as quick as I can. There's nothing interesting to me about something that's quick and easy. Um, I, I much prefer the slower, a little bit slower pace. Like, what we're doing now is okay. This is kind of, like, ideal. We're pulling packs of four, we're able to do some AoE damage, we're able to hold threat on things. But every once in a while, we slow down and let people get some mana back, because we need them to have mana back, because we need them to do damage. This is kind of the perfect balance for me between vanilla and retail. Whereas in vanilla, you had the crowd control, maybe you pull two guys at a time at this level. We could pull four now, we can live. But we do have to be mindful of just kind of like making sure everyone is, is with us. No flame strike, please. Uh, we could use some mana. Let's let's go ahead and we'll drink here at the bottom of the stairs. Probably not very safe of a place, but we'll be okay. Here we go. This will be a good one. I'm gonna do divine protection here, just like we did last time. I feel like that's appropriate. I like my mages to feel like they can they can cast, you know. Like I, I want them to feel like they can use their abilities. Uh, well, I should have saved my taunt to pull this other group. We'll, we'll get them in a second here. There we go. This 
there's just something really special about the Paladin tank, man. I swear, uh, just having a Righteous Defense and Hand of Reckoning and Consecrate, like all the tools we have as a Paladin tank make Warrior tanking just look a little foolish. I know that the Warrior has their strengths too. But I'm talking about just from like the standpoint of like how good it feels, how smooth it feels to press the buttons. The Paladin feels really good. The Warrior felt capable, but I often felt like in a panic to tab through and, and devastate every single enemy and to keep my Sunders up and it was sometimes like panicking and then you only have the one taunt so if something got away and your taunt was on cooldown there wasn't really a lot you could do. Uh, checking out everybody. We need mana so let's go ahead and we'll drink. A little righteous defense again. I'm gonna hide from this guy over here. Did a nice little flame strike on us. Oh! <laughs> that was probably too much, uh, too much pulling there. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. The flame strike. I don't know. I think it was the magic damage that. Wow, well, sorry you melted. Yeah. <laughs> it had to happen eventually. Uh, it would probably be a great time to have gotten buffs back up anyway, but getting close to the end here. Uh, yeah, Robert knows where he's going. Robert's fine. <laughs> Robert's not lost. Let's go this way. Oh, we need a seal up. Uh, seals would be good. Righteous Fury would help. Robert, did you know that when you die, you have to put Righteous Fury back up? Sometimes it seems like we don't know that. Uh, that would probably be an upgrade for us. It's fine. Thank you. Kind of hoping we'd hit level 35 in here, but that's fine. The, the first quest that we finish after we do this will hit level 35. Let's hope he drops something different from the helm this time, since no one else in the group can even use it. Everybody in. One, two, three, four. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. No, get away from the stairs. I need to be there. <laughs> you, you stay there. Oh, 
off the stairs, please. The helmet drops again. <laughs> okay, fine. Alright, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me for now. We're gonna run more of this because he has some other items that we need. But uh, I think for now, we're probably going to be done. He's got all kinds of stuff. We just we couldn't get anything else to drop. Maybe we do one more. One more, more, more. That's probably exactly what I said the first time. <laughs> Clearly I don't know how many I've got in me. Yeah, I think doing three is fine. We've got we've got our low level rogue wants to go. He's thirty oh, he's gotta hit thirty four soon, right? Even if he started and he had just hit thirty three. We've gotta get this guy to level thirty four. It just has to happen. That's a that's a ring. Uh, I'm not gonna take it from the underlevel rogue. I'm gonna let him have that one. <laughs> it has agility on it, which is not a primary stat for us. Uh, so who are we losing? Uh, healer. We'll look for a healer. And uh, we will. If we can get lead, that would be ideal. Uh, if we're looking here for, we gotta create a listing. Who got lead? Okay, the rogue has lead. If he can wants, if he wants to find the people, he can. I'm gonna go out to the stone. I don't need to have lead, I just need to know that we're actively searching for humans. Uh, let's just take a look. Oh, we are in too many things. Let's... Yeah, there's, there's plenty of people. Now, obviously with a Pally Healer, they're going to roll on anything that uh, drops off the last boss, which is fine. It is okay. I don't, yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, no, I don't really want a Paladin Healer. Looks like a priest. There we go, Twitchy's already in the group. Good, 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 good. Good show. And then let's grab... 
he probably doesn't want the competition of either the the druid or the rogue. So let's get this guy like summoned on out here. If we do, we have any? Yeah, we we're good. Fair. It's fair. Um, let's see. If we wait a minute, could see any number of people pop in. Shami. Shami, Shami. Let's grab him. Let's go. Level 40? Eh. I think that's okay. Right? <laughs> 40 for armory, so the last boss is like 38. It's gotta be okay. It's gotta be okay. Because the last boss is dropping level 37 gear. Uh, when, 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 you are DPS. Well, that was quick enough. Now, now this guy coming in here as DPS, if the axe drops, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see the, the shaman roll on it for for some awesome enhancement DPS, two-hand enhancement. I'm assuming two-hand enhancement is still a thing with wrath, though maybe it's not. Now the question is, gotta reset.
There's level 34 for our rogue buddy. We knew he would get it eventually. Let's come out here, let's hope that they follow us out here. It is going to be a bubble healer. It's even better to be a tank that does not need to be hit to generate a resource. That's actually good too. Uh, let's... Well, we don't need mana, but... Um, some of our people do. We could give them a moment here to, to get mana. We'll loot. Will they mana up? Seems good. Oh, we hit level 35. That's awesome. Didn't even notice. Uh, let's come down here. We want to go into Vengeance. do divine protection here to uh, well to help us not get murdered essentially Strength and spirit. It's interesting, but not really what we're looking for. I'm gonna join have these guys join the party. Pop a potion there. A lot of spirit stuff is dropping. If it was just stamina instead of spirit, or even if it was agility, I'd, I'd probably take some of it. Uh, yeah, we could add these other guys. Let's do that.
Oh, uh, Scarlet Belt, 8 Strength, 7, seven Stam. It's not a huge upgrade, but I'll take it. Especially if we get any of the other set pieces that will uh, stack with the bonus. It's something. Um, it's not. It's not a huge thing. Do divine protection here. That's a nice counter spell. After this, we could probably go ahead and rebuff. I know I've been really bad about keeping buffs up. I probably do need something to help me like track it. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Right, everyone into the room. There we go. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. Fades of light. Light. 
Give me strength! go the shoulders definitely roll on those Okay, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We did three really, really solid runs with pretty solid groups of people. Very much appreciate being able to get that done. Got a couple of pieces of gear. Uh, three pieces if we're counting the belt that we had. So yeah, good times all in all. And I think that for the future here, I think I'm going to go ahead and quickly knock out the mountain lions. And then I think I'm going to get us over into Stranglethorn. So that's probably where we'll pick up next, is over in Stranglethorn Vale, getting started on the kill quest there for Nessingwary. Making our way down to Booty Bay to pick up some of the low-level stuff uh, that we can pick up down there. Yeah, we need to get going. We need to get going on Stranglethorn. I'm excited to get there. It's kind of the midway point of leveling once we get through Stranglethorn. So, good times. Let me know what you all think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.